Hello, welcome to my channel. I will show you assembly four parts in this video. I draw three parts. Next videos will be assembly video. This video only contains part designs of assembly parts. Firstly select part design from workbench and click sketch button and select YZ plane. Now we will create sketch of first part. Click square button. Create a rectangle as shown. Click constraint button. And enter horizontal and vertical distances. Click horizontal constraint button. And select center point and corner point and enter 20 millimeters. Now click vertical constraint button and select center point and corner point and enter 10 millimeters. 2D sketch is finished. Now click exit sketch button. Now click pad design button and enter 10 millimeters pad. Click face of part and click sketch button. Click circle button and select point. Click circle constraint button. Enter 10 millimeters. Click pocket button and enter 3 millimeters. Click OK to complete pocket. First part drawing is completed. Now click save button, write any name for file and click OK. Click create a part button from top. And write any name for body and part as shown. Again write any name for body. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And like video. Now select body hold left click of mouse. Move body to part. Click new file. To start second part. Now click create sketch button. Select YZ plane and click OK. Now we can start draw 2D sketch. Click circle button. Then click center point. Enter 10 millimeters radius. By clicking center constraint. Now click exit sketch. Then click pad button. Enter 30 millimeters pad. Click create a part button from top. And write any name. The body and part as shown. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Again write any name for body. Second part drawing is completed. I save it and start next part. Click save button and write any name for second part. Now we start third part. Click new file. Then click sketch button. Select Y and Z plane. Click OK. Click slot button. 
come center point and press left click of mouse. Now click circle constraint button, select circle and enter 20 mm radius. Then click distance constraint button, select top side of slot and enter 300 mm length. Now click toggle driving reference constraint button, select line, and draw line as shown. Click circle button, draw a circle, center of slot. Click circle button again, click toggle drive button, to activate circle. Click circle constraint button, enter 10 mm radius, click horizontal distance button, select two points and enter 150 mm, click center of circle. Press and hold control key, then click center, then click coincident button. Now click end point of line, press and hold control key, click center point, then click coincident button. All lines becomes green, this means that all constraints are completed. Now click exit sketch button, click pad button. Enter 20 mm pad. Select symmetric to plane. Now select top side of part. Click sketch button. Now draw a slot from button. Click toggle drive button to activate it. Again click slot button, draw vertical slot. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Now move lines of slots as shown in video. Now click circle constraint button, enter 11 mm radius, then click length constraint button, enter 15 mm length. Click left radius of slot and press delete key from keyboard. Click trim button. Trim selected lines as shown. Again click vertical line. Press delete key from keyboard. And click trim button. Trim unwanted lines as shown. Now click vertical distance, select 2.7 and to 7.5 mm length. Select line, click vertical constraint. Click distance button, enter 10 mm, click OK.
Now we enter all measurements. We move it by using constraint buttons. Click external geometry button. Select lines as shown. Click point and hold control key. Click line. Click point on object button. Now click point and hold control key. Click vertical line. Click point on object button. Click exit sketch button. Click pad button. Enter 5 mm pad. Now click Exit Sketch button. Click Mirror button. Select part as shown and click OK. Mirror is completed. We draw other part. Click Side of Part. And click Sketch button. Click slot button and draw a vertical slot. And click vertical constraint of slot. Press delete key from keyboard and move slot as shown. We add constraints and measurements later. Now click circle constraint two times. Enter 6 mm radius and 3 mm. Technical drawing link is below a video. You can see all measurements of drawings. Click toggle drive button. Draw a line as shown. Click starting point of line. Hold control key and click center point. Lastly click coincident button. Do same thing. For bottom line and center points. Click toggle drive button. To deactivate it. Click Distance button. Write 65 mm. Click OK. Click Bottom Center point. Hold control key and click vertical distance button. Write 6 mm length. Click bottom center point. Hold control key and click slot center point and click horizontal distance button. Write 75 mm length. Click toggle drive button, then click line button, draw a line from center point as shown. Now click vertical line, hold control key then click horizontal line, click angle constraint button right 75 degree.
sketches completed. Click Exit Sketch button. Then click Pad button Enter Length. Now click Side of Part. Click Sketch button. To go to the workbench. Move part by clicking views as shown. Now click external geometry button and click sides of slot as shown. Click slot button, draw vertical slot. Delete vertical constraint. Click circle constraint. Enter 6 mm radius. Now click both center points of slots by holding control key. Click Coincident button. Hold Control key and click two lines of slots. Click Parallel Constraint button. Now click Circle button. Draw 3 mm circle. 2D drawing is completed. Now click Exit Sketch. Then click Pad button right pad as shown. I forget to add 65mm length. Now click Distance Constraint. Write 65mm length. Now click Pad button. Enter 5mm pad. Now click mirror button, select pad parts, and click OK to mirror selected parts. Then we do same thing. To mirror other part, system finds right plane and direction. Third part of seesaw is finished. Click Save button, write name and click OK. Lastly write body name as shown. Click Part button from top. Again write part name. Click Save button again. Move body to part by holding left click of mouse. Click Save button again. Next video I show how to draw remaining parts. Last video will be assembly 4 and animation in FreeCAD.